This is the Black Hole build for Vampire Survivors, a build that utilizes Soul Eater as its main force, a build that will literally drink the soul out of anything that approaches your character. Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the Black Hole build. If you guys are interested in any other builds or guides, feel free to join the Discord server down below in the description, my friends. It pretty much has every single thing that you will ever need in your entire life for Vampire Survivors. So feel free to join that guy and I'll see you guys there. This build uses the character Porta, not only because when you imagine a Black Hole, there's always a bombard of lightning strikes around, but also because of the plus 30% area increase, which which is a direct buff to black hole this build has two aoe dps weapons those being cross and ebony wings these guys are amazing these will keep the horrors of monsters at bay at all times as the single target dps we have the magic one any bosses or stray mobs that get past the front line defense will say hello to the magic one and that man is not nice it has a great single target dps and great knockback as a bonus for our crowd control we'll be rocking the clock lancet and and garlic while the lancet freezes enemies the garlic makes enemies more prone to freeze and knockback they work hand in hand is pretty much just amazing while also being able to heal me which is awesome and lastly is the laurel just for that extra survivability and also because i couldn't find another weapon to fit with the aesthetic of the build so yeah we're just gonna throw that guy in there as for the passives go of course we need everything for the evolution as far as the empty tune the red heart and luck but i've also thrown in the spellbinder bracer spinach and the chandelier just because all of these universally buff the majority of weapons making the build even stronger and this is the finished product Now, if you're gonna be attempting this build, I personally like to go to the library slash hyper mode because it's just the funnest. Your main priority at the beginning is to get garlic, mainly because it is extremely helpful for early game, considering you can pretty much mow down the first two mobs easily. Once you achieve garlic, you wanna rush to the left side of the map until you reach the empty tomb. Once you get there, it's time to farm, my friends, to get all of your main passives out of the way so you can get the empty tomb as an extra pass passive for that seven passive little setup once that's done focus on the garlic evolution first and then everything else will follow and the rest is pretty much history you have successfully built a black hole thank you for watching folks and don't forget to join the discord server if you have any bills that you want to show off yourself i would love to see them have a great morning evening and afternoon i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.